all right guys welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna do kind of a fun one since i've been in kind of a pokemon mood i've really kind of got into all the pokemon games again uh but i want to do some uh that is even more important to me as, as my childhood and that's digimon so when i was a kid uh Pokemon was big and I love Pokemon, especially the games. But for Digimon, Digimon was my show. Like Digimon was better than Pokemon, the show at least. Um, and so today I kind of just wanted to talk about the shows or the seasons. There's so many of them. Uh, and then there's the movies, which we're not going to discuss. But we're going to talk about the shows and I'm going to rank them. Now, uh, I haven't seen all of them, so I will put some in the never seen. But we're going to get right into it without a big introduction. Let's go. And we're going to start off with Digimon Season 2. Um, Digimon Season 2 was really weird for me. Even as a kid, when I was watching it, something felt off. Like, I enjoyed some of it a lot. I enjoyed Vmon, and I enjoyed some of the transformations a lot. Um, but it always felt like it was a continuation without the, the soul of the original cast. I don't think that the characters gelled together as well as the original. Um, it was kind of a half ass follow-up for me uh i i just could not get invested in a lot of characters i hated the main character uh his name is slipping my mind but i really did not like him and while i enjoyed the movies of that series quite a bit actually uh the show itself not so much so we're just talking about the show um i did like the last episode i thought that was a cool like what's it gonna be in all those years later so i, I like that i always like those kind of bookend chapter stuff uh but overall this show had some cool designs, some cool Digimon, a couple of cool fights. Uh, and when they brought in the Gen 1 kids uh, or the first kids, like Ty and everyone, I like that. Uh, but overall, I always felt like this one was a little bit lackluster for me. So I'm going to put this actually in the C. So the next one is, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever actually seen this show or even heard of this show. Uh, it looks like some type of newer like in the network type stuff uh so i'm just gonna put that in the never seen if you guys have seen that show let me know if it's any good uh maybe i should check it out uh next one is digimon frontier uh, i don't know if it's something different in japan uh this was a huge show uh when i was in middle school and uh i'll tell you right now that theme song is still in my head uh you know the Digi Evolution. Ba, 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 ba. Listen, I watched this show like every day before school. Um, I, I, I like Digimon Frontier. I thought, like, listen, you can't keep repeating the same formula. Well, you can. That's how Pokemon's still relevant, but you can't keep repeating the same formula for most series. And Digimon Frontier said, you know what? Instead of having Digimon partners, why don't the characters transform into Digimon? Um, so they kind of had that in Tamers where you fuse the Digimon and the Tamer together, which was cool. This went full on that they're not Digimon partners at all, that you just transform into a Digimon and then you have evolutions in that form. Frontier to me was the biggest risk and sometimes not the biggest payoff, but I really enjoyed a lot of this. I enjoyed a lot of the designs of this series. Um, I think it's a cool mix of like hybrid of human and Digimon together. Uh, I also really enjoyed the characters. I felt they were pretty layered in most respects and nobody was annoying in the main group. I mean, the fat guy was kind of annoying because he was like really after uh, the main girl. Lily, what's her name? Maybe no, I'm getting that wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, I think, for the most part, because I thought it was paced pretty well. The show had some filler episodes, but they were so good. And I think this was the last one that I really kind of watched all the way through. It was like, that was pretty good. I'd watch it again. And I haven't seen it since middle school. So I don't know if it holds up nowadays. Maybe not. Uh, but as a show that came out that was very different than season one to three, I really, really enjoyed this one. So now, let's put that in the B. B for badass. Uh, no, I don't know what's wrong. Um, so this one, I'm gonna make this a little longer. Uh, I don't know what this was called. Um, Digimon. Let's bring back Agumon because he sells well. I'm just gonna call it that. Um, this series was pretty cool. Uh, I thought some of the fight scenes in this were really cool. This came out quite a while ago. Um, and I really, I didn't finish this show. I think I watched the first like 30 episodes. And I really enjoyed, for what I remember, I really enjoyed it. I thought the main character actually 
being a participant in the fights was cool at times, and he was this very go-getter. Um, overall, I thought it was a good series. I can't say, like, I was blown away or anything. I think it had more interesting ideas than, say, season two of Digimon, but at the same time, I also felt like it never really elevated stuff beyond that. I didn't think the designs were that great. Like, Agumon uh, Digivolve to Greymon with slightly different design, but not really. Um, and of course they wanted to keep that because, you know, Agumon's the selling point. Agumon is basically the Pikachu of Digimon uh, or maybe Charizard, whatever. Anyway, I enjoyed it for what it was. I can't like fully say that it was amazing. I, I don't even want to put it in great, but I thought it was good for what it was. So let's, let's put that in the uh, C, but ahead of Digimon season two, for sure. I, I had more fun watching it. Uh, this one, I've only seen like one or two episodes. Uh, I didn't really like this one. I didn't like the vibe of it. Um, I don't know if it gets better. Like I said, I, I think I see no more than two. I think I see like four or five and I just kind of gave up. It was weird. Uh, was this like a, kind of like a game tie in or something or like made for the video? I don't know. Some about this series didn't feel like a Digimon series uh or made for like actual purpose of selling a new series uh but yeah I, I didn't really like this one from what i remember uh if this is the one i'm thinking of yeah this is the one i i didn't like this one so i'm gonna put that in a d sorry if fm got that i love that series okay so now we're getting to the big ones we're going to talk about digimon tamers digimon tamers quite frankly as a as a kid show it's excellent and as a, just a regular show it's also really damn good uh digimon tamers is definitely a newer approach it didn't try to change the genre of digimon or anything but what it did was basically make season one and two of digimon a tv show in that universe and the kids were like us they were big into digimon they liked the digimon they had the card game uh, all that stuff so it was cool because you can relate to the kids in the show however the digimon come into the real world and so this show has like the idea of making real world consequences for our characters. So everybody acts more like the real life, us, like regular people dealing with Digimon coming into their world. So there's a bigger, like bigger stakes going on. There's also some excellent, excellent fight scenes uh, and some really fucked up deaths that I was quite surprised were in a TV show. Um, I also thought that they actually gave a lot of background to a lot of characters. You felt bad when they died or when they wanted revenge or when they uh, lost someone. It was great. And the ending evolution forms are sick as hell. Uh, they also only had three main characters. There's more later on, but the three main that started are kind of the three main and they're all pretty damn good. Uh, I especially like Rika. Is that how you say your name? I think it's, again, I haven't seen these in like 15 years, but I really liked her. Her design was badass. She had the fucking Renamon. I mean, she was just awesome, but you also had really great other characters. So I enjoyed the show. I think the design wise is great. I think the storyline is dark enough that adults will enjoy it. And I also think it did enough new to make it different than the old, but also keep in tradition. So this was like Frontier. Uh, but done even better. Like it, it gave you enough new ideas, but it also didn't lose itself too much to the new idea. So I'm going to have to have to put this in the S. I think it's the best show. Um, next up would be Digimon Adventures, the original. And so I really enjoy this show. Uh, I actually rewatched this show about eight years ago. It was on whenever it came on Netflix. I was like, oh, I got to binge this. And the, the episodes are like 19 minutes long. So it was easy to binge. Uh, I really like the show. What's funny is I think that the first half is good. And the second half is great. When they bring in some of the darker elements from the show, the show elevates itself when you bring in the literal devil, basically, to fight you. Uh, I think this has some of the coolest Digimon designs. I mean, Metal Greymon, Were Garurumon, uh, War Greymon. I mean, pff, man, you had some sick designs in this. You also had a great cast of a large, like a large cast with great character moments. Uh, you know, you had Sora, you had Ty, you had Matt. Uh, TK, Kari, like all these characters, I still remember vividly. And I watched this eight years ago. I remembered it from a kid. Uh, I mean, this show is pretty much the reason why most people are into Digimon. Um, and so saying that, 
the first half rewatching it eight years ago is a bit tough to get to. It's a lot of like Saturday morning cartoon fun. And I mean, the whole show is like that, but the very first half with the exception of a couple episodes, like with Leo Mon and stuff are pretty slow and building towards the big finale of the, uh, you know, Digimon, uh, you know, the whole thing. Um, but the second half, man, it just shoots off. You get, you get these fucking crazy mega Digimons that you have to all take down. It just, it builds up the hype and you know, you think it, you took down the biggest enemy and then you go back to the digital world and boom, you're, st- you are stuck. You're like, who the hell are you? Mr. Clown, Mr. Joker. Um, so yeah, I really, really like Digimon, but I think the first half is a little weaker. So I'm going to rate it a little less than Tamers because Tamers, I loved all the way through, but it's still an A it's an A it's great. Go check it out. If you have it. Uh, and last but not least is the Digimon Tri series. I like some of it. Whoops. I like some of Ty, uh, Ty, try a lot. Um, I think it, you know, brought back the nostalgia really well. Uh, maybe I'll do a ranking of the movies because I will talk about the movies, which matter more to me. But as, as this kind of mini series and stuff, uh, I thought it had the right ideas, but didn't fully come to, together. You know what I'm saying? I, I like the idea of growing up and moving on, but also I like that we kind of go back to the old stuff a little bit. Uh, the designs are really cool. Obviously, with a bigger budget, everything looks great. The fights are pretty solid. Um, and I think that the first half is pretty insane, where the second half loses itself. I, I never finished the very last, I guess, two part, two parter. Uh, but every it started losing me there. But I enjoyed it enough for I have to recommend it for fans of the original. And I did watch it and enjoy it. But uh, I can't I can't give it higher than a C. Uh, I don't even know if I'd put it in front of two because two at least had some really fucking great designs for Digimon. So I'm just going to put it like right there. But anyway, that's it for Digimon. Uh, It's crazy that Digimon doesn't have that many series being that it's over 20 years old. It's like 22 or 24 years old, whatever it is. Um, But I think it really has some solid ones. I honestly think that Digimon as a show, especially Tamers, the original, and even Frontier, are all better than any Pokemon. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen Pokemon, and I don't know how some of the newer movies are. I heard they're good. But as far as the TV show Pokemon, I always thought it was just pretty average. Like, there's memorable episodes like the Butterfly and all that. But overall, I don't, I didn't get connected to any Pokemon series or anything like I did Digimon. Um, and that's saying a lot because I grew up with both of them at the same time. Anyway, maybe I'll do a movie list because there's a lot of Digimon movies, and some of them are freaking excellent so i do want to do that uh but as tv show this is my ranking uh so as you can see my favorite is tamers followed by adventures and then frontier and then the others all kind of jumbled together except for that d one and i never seen i guess it's the newest one i don't know uh but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff i want to see your list of digimon where would you rank it if you've seen them all including the ones i have it list them below if you love that one at d let me know why it's so good maybe i gotta recheck it out i don't know Uh, other than that i hope you guys enjoy and more to come